but to really talk about why do we need to face that topic today? Yeah, you're right. It is something we avoid if we can. I've done obviously a lot of funerals over the years as a pastor and people typically say of the deceased, they're the deceased or the dearly deceased, or they passed away, they went on to a better place, all of that, but don't like the word death. It's just kind of a euphemism that we're around these days. And we're at a place now where as a culture, we're not around it as much as previous generations would have been. More people die in hospitals, you know, they die in places that are not around their families and all of that. And yet it's an unescapable con consequence of life. Hebrews 9.27 says, it's appointed unto all men once to die and then the judgment. Unless the Lord comes home first, unless he comes back for us to take us home first, all of us, each of us, are going to face death one day. And the only way to be prepared to die is to make that decision now. I can't put that off to tomorrow because I'm not promised tomorrow. I remember, Chris, uh, when I was pastoring in Atlanta, there was a member of a church out there in the community who was diagnosed with brain cancer and given a period of months to live. And so he wanted to redeem this time as best he could. So he went around to the various churches in the area and spoke to the men's groups and told them his story uh, and urged them to be ready for eternity. He told them that he was making himself ready to meet the Lord, to be with the Lord, and they needed to do the same thing. And they needed to be ready for eternity today and he hoped they would. Well, he did that on one Sunday morning in one of the churches in the area. The next day on Monday, one of the men that was in that Bible study on that Sunday morning that heard him speak was driving on what they call the perimeter, the loop around Atlanta. There was a pickup truck in front of him with a loose spare tire in the back truck in the back of the truck in the bed. The truck went over a bump or something and it kicked the spare tire loose and it smashed into the uh, windscreen, the windshield of the car driven by the man that was in the Bible study and killed him. Mm. And the man with the brain tumor went to his funeral. Mm. That to say, none of us has tomorrow promised. No one gets a five-year plan in the Bible. And uh, we have to confront death if we want to be ready for death. And today's the only day we have to do that.